It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Friday. TGIF, ladies and gentlemen. TGIF, I got something special for you. Mikey Pipes, 12 days of Christmas. Let's get going. But first, we gotta go to the bagel store. We're a little early, it's 7.42 in the morning, Friday. December 16th, 2022. I wanna do something a little special in this little video because you need to have, spend a little time to focus on your business and your marketing, even during the holidays, right? So I wanna do, maybe I'll do it all in this one video. We're gonna do the Mikey Pipes, St. Mike, 12 days of Christmas giving. And we're gonna do it in two videos. We're gonna do days one through six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, days one through six in this video. And in the next video, we're gonna do days six, no, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's six, plus six is 12. Holy cow, I can count. You know what? I should be a business owner. <laughs> anyway, the first step, we're gonna go for a sleigh ride, all right? I want you to test drive your website. The first thing I want you to do, I want you to take your website for a test drive. It's raining out, it's cold, but it's Friday. Pretend while you're visiting your website that you know nothing absolutely nothing about the trades nothing if you're a drain cleaning guy on a drain cleaning company right pretend you have no idea about how to unclog a toilet or a sink or a shower or a main sewer line or water jetting or none of that right in the back of your head you should be thinking to yourself why should i be visiting this website what separates this from everyone else and most importantly on the website is your phone number visibly available is it right there and present is there a contact us form very very important so as you're browsing your website right let's say you have a question like forget about the cost like how much does it cost to snake out a toilet or a drain whatever other questions like why does this occur right are those questions being answered on your website do you have a blog set up do you have a recent projects page set up um do, is there a section where reviews you know, are being uh, being shown on your website, right? If Or if you don't even have a website, you should check out Footbridge Media, link in the description box down below. For $250 a month, they will not only design a brand new website for you, loaded with pages, loaded with content, loaded with pictures, with all this great stuff, blogs, uh, recent projects, pictures, reviews, all that good stuff and loaded with content because content gives you what the next part of the, which they're including is SEO. And that stands for a search engine optimization. Imagine the best way for the lay person to understand what SEO is. Imagine, you know, you have a, a giant reference book, like an encyclopedia set, right? I know you're a little too, uh, too young to know what an encyclopedia set is, but back in the days we had Encyclopedia Britannica, we had World Book, oh, yeah, I've seen it right? <laughs> right? But imagine, you know, you need to find like a map. You need to find the billiard room, right? But you don't have a road map mm -hmm. for it to get there. And you're wandering around aimlessly. And that's what SEO does, and search engine optimization. It, it helps Google and the internet see what you're looking, for, what you're trying to show to people and kind of guide them there. And that's what they do for $250 a month. It's kind of like a no-brainer. But like I said, make sure your website answers questions that people have related to your trade. Make sure you have a blog section. Like uh, once a week, once a month, whatever, just post an article there just for fresh content on the website. Trust me, it helps. I've done this for quite some time. I know it works. Um, but, but remember, phone number, contact us. You know, you, some of you need to pick up the phone, right? They see the number on there, they pick up the phone. Call me, right? There's a contact us form. Name, address, information all goes in there and they send it right to your email. You need to have that, right? Forget about the days of the phone book, okay? That concludes the sleigh ride. Let's go on to step two. I gotta tell you, these these, these crazy thermostats. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Peter. Yep. 
You ready for step number two? Day number two? Sorry. All right. Day number two. Day number two is, do you hear what I hear? Oh, I actually said that pretty good, didn't I? It was pretty good. Do you hear what I hear? Developing your phone skills. Remember the other day I called for gloves? I called Lou for gloves. Oh, were you with me? Oh, and I said, why? She's going to pick up the phone to sound like an answering service. Right? Thank you for calling Lou's gloves. This is Lou. How can I help you? Like that. Mm. It really sounded like you're talking to like a real professional. You actually sounded like an answering machine at first and an answering service, but then it was actually him himself mm -hmm. who picks up the phone. You know who's great at great telephone service? Uline. You know those people I get the shipping labels for yeah. that I put the combustion test results in? You, you can call them 24-7, 365. A human being picks up the phone who will take your order. Forget about an answering service or a voice, you know, an auto attendant where they push but you push buttons. Mm -hmm. A human being picks up the phone and actually will take your order and your payment information. And guess what? You'll automatically get an email receipt, like, like, like the other person who actually works for them. That's crazy. It's pretty cool. But then yesterday, I called AIG, the home warranty company that we work for, and I called my contact who I've never spoken to before. Mm -hmm. He picks up the phone and goes, hello. <laughs> I'm like, what? Really? Come on. So... How do you answer the phone? The way you answer your phone will set the mood of the phone call, for not only for that phone call, but for all future interactions with the client, all right? Um, for many people calling you, it's the first time calling you. So it actually will set the tone, you know, from that point forward. You know, I called my AIG rep uh, yesterday, and now I know if I call him, he's just gonna say hello, and it's kind of like really not professional, but who am I to complain? But what I'm trying to say is that if you're picking up the phone and just saying hello, if you're doing that, stop immediately, right? People are calling your business phone number. They expect a business person to be picking up the phone. At a bare minimum, let's say you're a plumber, you should be answering the phone with a greeting and identification. Thank you, know, like me, let's say, all right, when I pick up the phone, thank you for calling Pipe Doctor, how may I help you? Or, or at a bare minimum, Bare minimum. Hello, pipe doctor. How can I help you? Or hello, pipe doctor. Makes sense, right? But if you're just picking up the phone going hello, no bueno. No bueno. You need to do a little more extra effort today. It only takes a few more seconds and it makes your business that much more legitimate. Dead ass. Okay. Thank you for calling Pipe Doctor. Mike speaking. How can I help you? Thank you for calling. This is Mike. How can I make your day better today? Things like that. It works, trust me. And this concludes day two of Do You Hear What I Hear? You ready for day three? I'm ready. Day three is Be Like Rudolph. Cool. You know the song? Rudolph the yeah. Red Nosed Reindeer. That's Christmas song. Had a very shiny nose. And you will think it. You would even say it. it you glows. would even say it glows. Yeah. <laughs> be like Rudolph. Rudolph, you know, had to know his own strengths. Yes. At the end of the day, he was in charge of the whole Santa and Santa sleigh and all the other reindeer, right? That's true. So, for day three, be like Rudolph, know your strengths. All right. So, just like Rudolph. Oh, my God. There's no lights down here? <laughs> my God. Nope. What the fuck? There's absolutely no illumination down here whatsoever. Oh, that's on. And just like Rudolph, you need to know your own strengths and your weaknesses, right? Not every company has the same skill set or resources. You know, those bigger companies, those franchise companies like Mr. Sparky, Rotor Rooter, Benjamin Franklin, right? Um, you know, they're big franchises, so they can take on, you know, a, a lot just on their own reputation, right? But when you started your business, right, because you had specific strengths when compared to your competition, whether it's your pricing, your response time, your customer service, or even your local roots, identify those strengths and sell those features and benefits, not only to your customers or how you interact with them, but also on your website and in all your marketing resources and materials. 
Be like Rudolph. Understand and play up to your strengths. So as I go into this crawl space, I want you to take a few minutes right now or today and think about your personal strengths and your weaknesses, right? And I'm gonna show you a disaster that you've never seen. Look before. at this. Forget about the water moisture here. Look at this train air handler. Look at this piece of flex. And look, just look at this freaking filter media cabinet with flex attached to it on both sides. I can tell you the guy who put this in was definitely not Rudolph. No effing way. No way, Jose. Because this is a ship show. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes day three. Be like Rudolph. Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter. Yep. We're halfway through. Oh boy. We just finished day three of the two-part series on Mikey Pipes, St. Mike, 12 Days of Christmas Giving. Sweet. Hopefully they're enjoying Hopefully you're enjoying. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Let's go. I don't even know how I can even approach <laughs> the customer with the disaster that's before me. But I'll tell you real quick what we're doing to interrupt this, your regularly scheduled program. Uh, customer got uh, six um, Lutron, Cestron, uh, uh, Cestron, Crestron, um, those home automation thermostats from their home automation guy and he's like, you gotta have your HVAC guy put it in and that's me. But how do I even approach this <laughs> disaster here? Oh my God. All right, guys, day four. We wish you a merry, merry Christmas. The merriest Christmas of all. I want you to thank a customer today. There doesn't have to be a sales pitch or any hidden agenda or monetary win for you. Just... Say thank you to someone who has used your services and genuinely mean it. Without your customers, your clients, your clientele, you wouldn't have a business. Now I'm going to be like the Scrooge. So thank a customer today because without them, you wouldn't be where you are right now. Peter, yep. have a happy Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. And that concludes day four. Now you saw what we, what we just saw in that crawl space with that horrible yeah. installation. But when I'm standing, we're, we're st yeah, we're staring at this. You guys haven't seen it yet. But we're in one section of, a, of a, this unfinished basement. Mm -hmm. Used to be finished. Right. But when you see this, a giant hole to China in the ground. Well, I guess expect the unexpected with day five. <laughs> what did you say? Should I jump in? You want to go to China? No, I'm good. I already got COVID once. <laughs> wow. Day five. All I want for Christmas is not a hole to China in, in my basement. No. All I want for Christmas is you. I want you to consider paid advertising as a channel in order to effectively gain new customers. Now, it doesn't work in every demographic. I am in the New York City, Long Island metropolitan area, and I can tell you this right now, it don't work. Google local service ads, they don't work. Yet. I know how to scam them, though. Yeah. I know how to scam them. I, I can save yourself $27 every time that phone rings, all right? Pay-per-click here, it don't work, trust me. Um, it don't work, but every demographic is different. I know a guy down in in central Florida near Orlando, he spends about a couple thousand dollars a month in Google uh, AdWords and his phone is ringing off the hook. I don't know what his conversion rate is, but he tells me his phone is ringing off the hook and he's very busy. But consider it, right? And most businesses cringe at the thought of possibly spending some money that it's unknown, you know what's gonna happen, right? But you have to look at the, the conversion ratio to really understand it. Talk, to, talk about more of that in a minute. Let's get out of this basement in the blind. Look, we're blind. Peter, Peter, I, you got a light? I do. What, what is this right there? What is it? Can you shine a little light? What is this? Oh my God. I see an expansion tank. Hold on. Peter. Wow, it is an expansion tank. <laughs> Where's all this water coming from? That is a lot of water. It's a lot of water. It's full. 
Oh, that's empty. Wow. Big boy. She's a big boy. Earl. 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 You know, we send one of those guys working oil here. Damn. We're literally in this. Oh, there's water. Oh, what is that? Coming from the drain right there? I don't know. But I do know that most businesses cringe that they have having to pay to get customers. But there shouldn't be any shame utilizing like Facebook ads or Google pay per click ads. I use uh, Instagram. I'm doing the, uh, the Navy and free safety and integrity test. Um, I got three calls and I spent $350 on it so far. Not really a lot, but it does work. Mm -hmm. But the question is... Ooh, very, very scary. It's like Halloween, but it's Christmas. I could be the Grinch who stole Christmas. But the question is, do you know what your cost of acquisition for each new customer is? If you don't know, you need to figure it out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Day five. So whether it's social media advertising, print advertising, like postcards, door hangers, target mailing through e e e d m or EDD, whatever it's called, through the Postal Service. Mm -hmm. Footbridge Media got you covered. Not only they can put together a website for you for $250 a month, brand new, and do the marketing for it, giving your customers the roadmap to see your site, but they also take care of a wide variety of print and mail services. Check them out, footbridgemedia.com, link in the description box down below. Peter? We just did five days of Christmas. We're gonna do the last day right now, right? Mm -hmm. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Here comes day six, prancing all the way. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> day six, day six. Don't worry about dashing through the snow. Don't worry about dashing through the snow because say it's raining. It's like a monsoon outside, Friday. December 16th, 2022, and next Sunday is Christmas. Excited. Next, <laughs> this time next week, oh, actually, no, this time next week, you have a day off. Next Friday, we're off, and maybe even next Monday, too. Ooh. Next Thursday, Christmas, a little Christmas party. <coughs> maybe St. Mike will go, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, hand out fat, fat wads of stacks. <laughs> you know, waiting for a technician mm -hmm. is just a, a common pain for most homeowners you know they can wait for the cable guy the electrician yeah you know the verizon guy you know that you know the cable duh uh, the plumber mm -hmm. keep this in mind if your customer has to take time off from work for the pleasure for you to come over and fix something mm -hmm. coming into their house and then giving them a bill it is understandable that you know additional scheduling problems further open the wound you know, if, if you, if let's say I made an appointment with this homeowner right now, we're here Friday morning, eight to 10. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, this homeowner doesn't have that, that issue to worry about, but yeah. some do. Some will actually take the morning off, take the afternoon off, take the whole day off, right? Yeah. But imagine, you know, put yourself in their shoes, all right? You um, made an appointment in advance, possibly maybe taking some time off. Uh, and then they cancel on you or reschedule, that's going to really, really, like, reopen that wound, you know? Like, yeah. especially if they take time off of work, you know? Sometimes they may not be reimbursed for that, and maybe not have any time off, but... What can I say? Scheduling can be a very tricky situation. You don't always know what you walk into in a service call, so do as much as you can to try to control and mitigate any kind of possible confrontation when it comes to scheduling. So, don't worry about dashing through the snow. Show up on time at demonstrating respect and care for your customers' time and, of course, their property. Remember, give as much notice if you need to reschedule for a, a, a client, a customer, especially because plans do change. I get it, right? But calling a client, you know, an hour after you're supposed to arrive, yeah. that's not good. That's only just going to just, that's, just, that's just, that's just not acceptable. And uh, that is not going to help you further strengthen uh, relationships with your clients. So. Mm -hmm. If you have to reschedule and you really have to do that, give them as much notice as possible because you don't want to just reopen that wound, all right? Jingle bells. Don't worry about dashing through the snow. Day six, complete. Thank you so much for watching this. Stay tuned for part two, which is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 for the 12 days of Christmas. Make sure to check out Footbridge Media. Tell Mikey Pipe sent you. Link in the description box down below. Thank you so much, St. Mike and Peter Pan, Peter Piper, plus one, signing off. Be well, God bless, stay safe.